Hi guys, I'm Madeline, welcoming you to this week's edition of Hot This Week, where I'll be dishing out the most exciting games that launched this week on iOS and Android. This week's games includes some super fast shooters, some old franchises, and a well loved deduction game, so let's get started. First off the list is the highly anticipated dual stick shooter, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. After a lot of drama at the Apple Store, including date shifting, Isaac has popped out without any further entanglements and is all yours for the price of $14.99. The game has you playing a little boy who is driven to his basement to escape his insane mother. What lies beneath is more terrifying and horrific than you can ever imagine. As you explore the randomly generated basements, you discover frightening secrets and grotesque stuff that can only be destroyed by your tears. Rebirth offers over 500 hours of gameplay, 20 challenging runs, and plenty of items and unlockables that will provide the skills you need to defeat the enemies within. The relentless pace of the game and the staggering amount of content means you could get hooked onto the game for hours despite its catalogical theme. If you are up for a hard as nails challenger that's absolutely addictive, grab the game on your iOS device right now. Next up is a famous board game called Mysterium. Fire up your grey cells and get set to revisit the 1920s where you solve a murder with the help of visual clues from a ghost. This is a co-op game where you play the Warwick Mansion ghost who gives clues to a group of psychics to uncover a murderer. Or you can play as one of the psychics and attempt to decipher the clues of the ghost. You can play solo or with up to 7 players and collaborate on finding the deadly killer. The gameplay is exciting and detailed and filled with plenty of drama and you may even end up cussing yourself for not seeing the end sooner. I recommend that you play Mysterium with your friends and make it an all-nighter. Let's pick up the pace with this next eye-catching game, Tawaga. This is a visually stunning action shooter from Sunnyside Games featuring a masked man stationed atop a temple tower who must defend it from eerie supernatural creatures with a beam of fire and some special spells. Although there's nothing more to the game than shooting down a creepy collection of evil creatures, the special Path of Madness mode will surely test your shooting skills. Tawaga makes it to this list for its impressive design work, great HD graphics and addictive gameplay. Lead a powerful team of iconic Star Wars characters and battle players from around the world in real time with the latest Star Wars title, Force Arena. Pick up your most powerful squad from over 80 upgradable characters and attempt to be the most victorious unit to dominate the galaxy. The more battles you engage in, the more character cards you'll collect. You can upgrade your cards and put together powerful and synergistic combinations to ensure victory. Apart from the solo mode, you can also form guilds with other players and participate in events to earn rewards, special characters and bonus items. Think Clash Royale with Star Wars characters just a tad better. What more can you ask for if you're a Star Wars fan? It's a great treat and it delivers. Enough with all the hardcore stuff, I'm going to wind up my final selection of the week with something more relaxing. This is a bubble shooter game from King called Bubble Witch 3 Saga. Despite running into its third installment, the Bubble Witch Saga game shows no sign of losing its sheen. You play the sassy witch Stella who must pop matching bubbles on the screen to complete a variety of tasks and defeat the mischievous old cat Wilbur who is up to his magic tricks. Apart from all these tasks, you also get to enjoy a subplot in the game, rebuilding Stella's house with stars and pixie dust. Bubble Witch 3 Saga is a polished shooter with plenty of variety that still manages to shine. If you're a casual gamer, this one's definitely for the collection. That's it for our lineup of the hottest games this week, guys. There's plenty of great content in here to last you all week, so have fun. This is Adeline from the App Times, signing off. Until next time.